My name's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I have something so exciting to share with you guys today. So last semester in the college, I took a video production class. So for the final project of that class, we were able to make anything that we wanted, basically. We just had to incorporate some of the things that we learned in that class. So I decided to make a movie trailer of one of my absolute favorite books ever, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I've read this book, I think I'm on my 10th reread now. It's one of my favorite books, literally ever. I think it's probably number two of like my favorite books of all time. So I decided to make a movie trailer for it and I wrote the, the script for it and I filmed it and like directed it and then edited it and it is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to share it with you guys and I'm so excited with how it turned out. And I wanted to just pop in here really quickly and give you all a little introduction and some context for it. I do have timestamps down below if you want to just like skip right to the trailer, feel free. But also make sure to stay tuned because um, at the end of the trailer there are some bloopers, which I love bloopers and <laughs> they're like the best part about filming anything. Doing this project was so much more work than I thought it was going to be, but it was so worth it. It took me about two hours to write the script and then I think it took like eight or nine hours to film everything with a big fancy camera and like a boom mic and all of the like really fancy like filming equipment that I was able to check out from the university. And then I think I spent nearly 24 hours total editing it. It took me so long to edit and it took part of my soul to edit, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. I do want to take a moment to thank all of my friends who acted in this little movie trailer that I put together it totally I would not have been able to do it without them and yeah I just want to clarify that this is a fan-made trailer there's no movie coming I wish there was a movie for this book I love this book but yeah I hope you all enjoy the trailer that I made of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell you're gonna thank me for this cap we've shared a room for 18 years and why stop now? It's worked out great. The whole point of having a twin sister is not having to worry about weird roommates that eat your food and, and smell like salad dressing. If we do everything in college together, people will treat us like the same person. And all they have to do is pay attention. I only relented because I kept thinking about winning, about how I was letting this win. The crazy inside me, me, zero. Crazy, one million. You're my new roommate. <laughs> nice. Levi, come on. Ignore Reagan. She's in one of her moods again. Um, we're going out to get burgers. You want to join us? Uh, have you ever been to Paris? Burgers the size of your fist. Uh, make a fist. Bigger than your fist. In new situations, the trickiest rules are the ones nobody bothers to tell you. Like, why is everyone watching you? Sharing a room with Regan was harder than sharing one with Ren. Regan took up too much space. Figurative space. Headspace. The only time I escape is when I'm writing fanfiction. You don't do magic, Simon. You are magic. The key to casting a spell isn't just saying the words, but summoning their meaning. I suppose magic just doesn't come to me as easily as it does to you. Don't be stupid, Simon. You're the chosen one. The most powerful mage in a hundred years. Don't try to appease me now, Baz. We can't be friends. Why not? Because we're already enemies. Levi gives off a hundred smiles a day. He smiles like it doesn't cost him anything. But when he smiles at me, smiling is confusing. Kath, could you read me some fan fiction? That you would take the first flight out of my mind. The first flight out of my mind. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. But I knew he was your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He hasn't been for a long time. And I knew he liked you. I just didn't know you liked him back. I still look for you in the sky. I swear I still hear your voice late at night. Writing fan 
fiction isn't plagiarism, as long as I'm not trying to sell my stories. Simon, Baz, you belong to Gemma T. Leslie. I'm just borrowing you. Lately, I've been struggling to write anything but fanfiction. I have a big fiction story due in a few weeks. Trying to write my own stuff is like falling down a cliff and grabbing at branches, trying to embed the branches as they fall. Kath, I know you can do this. I'm not so sure. The crazy inside me is getting louder. To really be a nerd, you have to prefer the fictional worlds over the real one. Why do we write fiction? To free ourselves. Happily Ever After is not cheesy. It's the noblest, most courageous thing two people can shoot for. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Look at you, Levi. You're magic. To be somewhere else. You could have died, Ren. I wasn't gonna die. To stop being anything or anywhere at all. Levi always likes me best. Cap, if you need a break, just tell me. I'd rather pour myself into a world that I love then try to make something up out of nothing. To disappear. Hababa de Gaida. I know, people are gonna be like, so was that the same person? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> and it's worked out great. Why stop now? The whole point of having twin sisters not having to worry about weird roommates that eat your food and smell like salad dressing. Sorry, the way you said that. <laughs> you're reading it really fast. Yes, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna win an Oscar for this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hey, mister. <laughs> you got games on your phone? <laughs> you got games on your phone? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I got it's okay. scared. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Just keep doing what you're doing, Faith. Doing great, sis. <laughs> Have you never used one of those before? No. I kind of forgot if when it says record, is it recording or when it says pause, it's recording. I can't remember. Have, have, can you do the thing where they do like that? Yeah. Right? How do you kind do? of. I can't do it. Lately, I've been struggling to write fan. Er, fuck. Let me restart. To be a real nerd, you have to. I sound like a fiction or a uh, reporter. It's the noblest. It's the noblest, not most noblest. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Ah. It's the noblest, most courageous thing people. Two people. Fuck. Do you want to pause for a second and get a, another shot when the? Are you trying to film a movie here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the device. Blooper reel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make sure we get that in the bloopers. <laughs> you didn't hear that stomach growl. Don't whenever you're ready. He always likes me best and now he doesn't <laughs> like me anymore. And how dare you come in and steal him from me, you bitch. Oops. <laughs> Good job. Mm -hmm. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Sorry. It's okay. Hell yeah, Levi always likes me best. But I won't say it in that tone of voice. <laughs> Levi always likes me best. Whatever you say. <laughs> Just ignore Raven. <laughs> Raven! Raven! Reagan! I know, I said Raven instead of Reagan. <laughs> what, how do you want me to stand? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know how to act. Magic just doesn't come to me. Magic just doesn't come to me as easily as it does to you. 
you dirty, rotten bastard. Imagine just doesn't come to me as he... <laughs> <laughs> Did I say any of that right? You got it! Oh, cool. <laughs> Just for